Trust your first impression. What are you saying or feeling? What's coming to your mind? Water. Water. Mm -hmm. What kind of water are you saying? Clear. Mm -hmm. Are you in the water or looking at it? Looking. Mm -hmm. Is this a body of water? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what kind of, of water it is. It could be many different things. Is it an ocean or a lake, a stream? What do you th imagine this water to be? Wide open. Mm -hmm. Wide open water? Deep mm -hmm. blue. Mm -hmm. And how is it that you're observing this water? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are you looking at it from? Above. Mm -hmm. Are you way above it or just a little bit above it? Take a little. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that as you're observing it, you have a body there? No. Okay. So you're you're free to move about and see what else is there. Let's find out about this place. Let's see why you're there. What else do you see? Fishes. Fishes. Mm -hmm. Do you see them deep? Under the water? Or no. They're up above? Mm -hmm. Are these large or small? Small. Mm -hmm. School of fish. Mm -hmm. As you see these fish, what emotions do you get from it? Curious. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? What else is there besides fish? Are there any people? Any structures out there? Trees. Trees. So we're near the land. Yes. Mm -hmm. So describe this land mass for me. Palm mm -hmm. and coconut trees. Mm -hmm. Does this land seem to be flat <clears throat> or does it elevate? Look around. like sand mm -hmm. and 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 um, um, blades of grass mm -hmm. tell me what you're feeling from this place get in touch with your emotions Empty. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? Curious. Mm -hmm. Just 
to go further mm -hmm. in. All right, let's go further in. Do you see a path? Yes. All right, describe this for me as you go along. Uh, um, grass. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's two paths. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to go to the left. Mm -hmm. Let's go and see what's there. Tell me everything you see along the way. It's wider than the other, the other path. Mm -hmm. And something's happening. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Um, light. What kind of lights? Uh, like a like a party. Mm -hmm. um, laughing. And talking. Let's get closer and let's see who's there. A uh, guy. Mm -hmm. And he's like the center of the attention. He's talking a lot and laughing. And they're listening. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? Um, it's a black guy mm -hmm. with curly hair and sandals. How is he dressed? Um. Like an open shirt mm -hmm. and shorts and sandals. He's laughing and talking, mm -hmm. and they're all listening and laughing. How many do you imagine are there? Um, I see um, one person off, a little bit off, but they're they're a part of a part of the group. And there's a woman. With with the with the guy that has the curly hair mm -hmm. and she's laughing too. Tell me more about this party. Connect um, with it and see what the occasion is. Um, the, the first thing I, I, I feel like he's saying is, um, like the first thing is, uh, he's uh, laughing with her about a baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're joking around about having a baby. Mm -hmm. And um, the guy is laughing with them. That's there. Um, uh, he's Caucasian, and um, the lady is as well. Mm -hmm. um, she's a little shorter than him. He's taller. The guy with the curly hair. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just making jokes about it, like, um, like maybe their plannings, you know. Mm -hmm. So let's see what they're planning. I want you to connect with them telepathically. You can advance the scene. You could slow it down. You have full control like a remote. He likes her. Mm -hmm. And he wants to have have a child, but he jokes about it. Mm -hmm. um, he's not really taking it seriously. But he wants to. But he's scared. That's why he's joking. How is she connected to him? Uh, she wants to be with him. Mm -hmm. um, they want to get married, but they're, they're still young, she feels. Still. How, how old do you feel they are there? Uh, 
Uh, he looks like he's maybe uh, like maybe he's like 21 and she looks like um similar age like like maybe yeah mm -hmm. their age is close but she's concerned they she's concerned about something all right let's find out what she's concerned about you could advance the scene mm -hmm. or you could hone in on her mind and find out what's going on you'll just know it Um, about, about someone else, about, um, her mom. Mm -hmm. Um, her mom judge, judge her a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's close that scene, close it like a book. And I want you to move forward in that same lifetime to something else important that's happening. Let's move forward and see what happens. What do you see? Um, it's, it looks like um, they're like the the people on the cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In, in the wedding, like they're standing next to each other, they look like that. Mm hmm. They have the same features. Um, there's, it's, she's dressed like the wedding, like with the dress and the, and he's with the suit. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, what's happening? Connect telepathically. Um, they decided to be together to get married. Mm -hmm. um, they're not really concerned anymore. Mm -hmm. like, what are you receiving from it? What emotions are you getting? Uh, still um, seem like they're young. Mm -hmm. That was my first, my first thought. Mm -hmm. Look into the eyes of the bride and the groom. Mm -hmm. Look deep into their eyes and see if there's anything familiar about them. If you recognize them. Uh, the guy, mm -hmm. um, I'm connected to him. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how. Trust your, your impression. How are you connected to him? I'm, I'm watching him, um, it's like we're related. Mm -hmm. In what way? Allow the thoughts to come. You'll know. I think I'm supposed to be their baby. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing? Are you monitoring them? Yeah, just observing. Mm -hmm. 
what's going through your mind as you observe them? Um, I'm curious why, why, why they, they changed their mind. Mm -hmm. Well, not changed their mind, but why, what, what, what was, what was the process? What was the process that made them go in that direction? What are you feeling from them? I'm feeling like I want to know more. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go deeper in there. Allow yourself to go as deep as you want to find out. Tell me everything that you find. Uh, I am in her stomach. Mm -hmm. But I, I can see it from I can see it from outside, not from inside. Mm -hmm. So your body is inside, but your soul is outside. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I know that that's gonna be me. Mm -hmm. So what's going on in in the minds of your mom and dad and you? They're happy. Mm -hmm. What is your purpose of having chosen these two as your parents? Because they weren't speaking uh, about everything they were feeling. Mm. I thought it was unusual that he would uh, uh, they would all like uh, joke and laugh, um, but had thoughts that they didn't share. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know why. So you chose to be their child? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. Take me through the process. Where are you now? Um, still in a, in there. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking. Um, he's concerned. Um, What's he concerned about? Uh, uh. Um, uh, t taking care, like, um, how? He doesn't know how to. Mm -hmm. He's pretty young, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does he have a job? Um, he's worried about money. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he has a job. Um, Zero in on the mother yeah. and see how your mother feels about this pregnancy. She's excited, but there's a feeling um, uh, like confused, like I don't know why. It's like a confusion, like, like before, like at the beginning mm -hmm. when they didn't say everything. That they were thinking, mm -hmm. um, which was why I was so curious. Mm -hmm. Were you just were you just curious to experience this life? Yeah. Or was there a connection? Huh. I felt 
connected to the guy mm -hmm. because everyone was listening to him. Mm -hmm. um, um, how, do you, how do you feel now about him now that you've lived um, with them? Um, I still want to know what, what, what that feeling, what it, what it is, mm -hmm. what, um, what is that, um, that causes that, mm -hmm. that they think, you know, they think things, but don't say it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they look like they're thinking something else. Like, what is it that m creates that? Mm -hmm. That the 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 f the function, how it's done, mm -hmm. and why it's done, what makes it happen? So you're just very curious about the human nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we'll close that scene. I want you to go to the time before you were here on this planet, where you were actually speaking with your counselors, making a decision to come here and be born in that lifetime as that baby. I want you to go to that place and tell me where you are. Look around you. Mm. What's it look like? Say the school. Mm -hmm. Like little pillars. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling it's a school. Yes. Like around there. Mm -hmm. But it looks like um, like libraries, you know, with the like the museums with the big pillars and the stairs. Yes. It's near there. That building is near the schools okay the schools are on my left and the building the big building is big white building is on the right mm -hmm. and can you tell if you have a body there some sort of a body i i, I what do you look like i want you to imagine a mirror in front of you what would you look like? Looks like um, like if like the Roman times. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? Are you wearing anything in particular? Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? <laughs> It looks like um the like the like the sheets they wear. Mm -hmm. Is it short or a long? It's long. A long robe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? With the uh, with flowers in my hair. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? There? Female. Mm -hmm. What are your features like? Mm. Very soft. Mm -hmm. Um. And pale. Mm -hmm. Is your hair long or short? It's up. Mm -hmm. And like curl, you know. And there's a man. Mm -hmm. He's off to the right of me, like towards where the where the building is. Mm -hmm. Who is this man? Let's find out. Are you connected to him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is he? Mm. It's like my dad. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he seems to be important. Okay, so let's find out where it is that you're going in order to plan this life.
Uh, mm-hmm. uh, the the building is where um, that's where they talk about everything mm-hmm. and discuss everything. Um, it's like a big hall, open, uh, with like marble floors, and you could almost feel the cold of the tile. Yes. And, um, it almost um, seemed like it, you know, like it's a big open space. It's a big open space, and um, they discuss things. So yeah. tell me who's there with you? Just you and your dad, or are there other people? Um, I can hear voices. Mm hmm. Um, I don't really, I think like there's um, someone off in the distance. Mm -hmm. So take me through the whole process. Were you scheduled to go there? Uh, No. Mm -hmm. Do you go there on your own? Um, uh, I I get like uh, foolish. Mm-hmm. What about foolish? Do I, f- like I like I get f- I'm very foolish. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Um. 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 Because, like, I'm spoiled. Mm-hmm. In what way? I'm, I'm my father's child. Mm-hmm. And I know I can get whatever I want. And I can do stuff that I'm not supposed to do. Like what? Like, leave without permission. Mm-hmm. There's someone else there. Mm-hmm. Who else? Um, there, I don't know. Uh, I think I think it's a man, and he's talking about me. Mm-hmm. Let's find out who this man is. Mm-hmm. Connect with it. He's chastising my father. Hmm. About what? me. What's he saying? That he needs to control me. Who is this man? I don't know. Let's find out. Connect with him telepathically. You'll know the answer. He tries to word things properly. Mm -hmm. He's smart, Mm -hmm. but um, he gets upset. He says things that, that is not like is out of his character. Mm-hmm. Like um, he understands things, but he's he um, just uh, he doesn't like things like um, to not go the way it's supposed to. Like you know, it has everything's like by the book. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, my dad spoils me. What position does your father have in this place? He's like an elder. Mm-hmm. Are you like a favorite child? His only child. His only child. Mm-hmm. Uh, physical, like, um, um, not physical, but like, uh, like, like we're connected, like, like I'm. Like, uh, like, uh, like, um, like, I'm a part of him, not like how, like, not like here, like how mm-hmm. we're, like, you know, 
uh, the how the how the relationship works mm -hmm. like it's not like that it's 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 like like a spark of life mm -hmm. separating yes it's like that and I'm a smaller smaller light like from him mm-hmm and I get the word cherish, like he cherishes me. Yes. I'm I'm the part like the part of him that is not like him. He's like very like uh like um very like a authority figure. Mm hmm Um and and wise and that I'm like foolish mm -hmm. so let's see what happens next we want to find out why you chose to go into the lifetime of a human what do you see uh. Where are you? I'm looking at something. Uh, I'm looking at something like I'm I'm planning. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to leave. Does anybody know? No. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Where to go? Mm hmm. I don't know if it's a book or a crystal or something that you look into. Mm -hmm. So zoom out a little bit so you can see what it is. It's it looks like a uh, like a bird fountain. Mm -hmm. Like a fountain, yes. a, a stone fountain with water in it. Mm -hmm. And you touch it, and uh, when it ripples, it. It shows you things. Mm -hmm. So what is it showing you? Um, um, there's like, um, there's like different, uh, it's not so much as sh like, I feel that the, the, the ripples, like, um, um, it's like, like many layers of like the universe mm -hmm. and um do the layers mean anything i uh, guess mm -hmm. what are they the vibrations, mm -hmm. like the vibration of the water when you touch it. Yes. It's like the, the it's like an echo. Mm -hmm. So there's like echoes of, 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 uh, It's like echoes of like I uh, don't um, like dimensions or mm -hmm. like like the world echoes or something like that. Like there's an echo. So as you look through these layers, do you see different things in each layer? Uh, if I select. If I select a different one, mm -hmm. like if I select one, it will show me different ones. Mm -hmm. Are they but different worlds? They're all the same. It's just like echoes of, of the same one. Mm -hmm. It's like different, like, uh, uh, like what if. Mm -hmm. So what kind of what if games are you playing with this water? 
um, I'm deciding mm -hmm. um, what should I look like. Mm -hmm. So what do you see? Do you see different appearances? Um, um, just different people, mm -hmm. you know, um, and echoes of themselves. So when you say echoes, the same person could be in different forms? In the same form, but it's like a vibration, mm -hmm. like a, like a note. It's still the note, but it's extended. Okay. So it's like an extension of one thing um, that vibrates into other worlds, into other like. Um, like a, a vibration uh, you know there uh, it's like the same thing but like the ripples on the water mm -hmm. so as you look at this what's going through your mind as you're planning um I just want to go to one of them mm -hmm. what kind of experiences do you want to have um I just want to do everything and see everything. Mm -hmm. I, I want to learn more. What kind of things do you want to learn? Um, I want to find out what happens what happens in between the between the rippling mm -hmm. not go from one to the other but what happens in between what how how mm -hmm. like what's the difference what why why one why are they all the same but um different mm -hmm. so you want to experiment the different ripples yes mm -hmm. whether they're good bad or indifferent everything everything Mm -hmm. Have you ever lived in one of these lives that you're looking at? Many. Many? Mm -hmm. You're just bored right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the time when you've now chosen a lifetime. Do you choose it out of that rippling, out of that fountain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know my dad knows. He knows you want to leave? No, he knows that I've been doing that. Ah. He makes excuses for me. When you choose one of these lives, do you leave where you are now? Or do you remain there? Um, I keep bouncing around. Mm -hmm. I get bored easily. And um, danger to me is not danger it's just an experience yes everything is just an experience to me it doesn't really it's not a thing mm -hmm. um it's just it's just another thing yes like anything else how do you protect yourself from not getting too involved in that life um i don't because I'm foolish mm -hmm. and I do stuff like that and mm -hmm. my father forgives me. <laughs> but when you're in the lifetime, is there any protection that you do so that you don't get totally immersed in that life? Um, he send people. Mm -hmm. Like what? Um, to watch me. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? Um, they're like, um, like, like protectors, mm -hmm. like um, like, uh, they tell me not to do things. Mm -hmm. Um, they tell me don't do things. Um, 
Um, and uh, 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 sometimes they get frustrated. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the part where you have selected the lifetime of a woman named Shireen. Um, I have to use the bathroom. All right. So I'm going to have, I'm going to touch your shoulder in a moment. You'll open your eyes. And when you go back into the state, you'll go even deeper than you are right mm -hmm. now. In the same spot, even deeper. Go ahead and open your eyes. You're doing a fantastic job. It seemed like I was there. <laughs> It seemed, I hope you could do it again. <laughs> I almost didn't want to get up. <laughs> I knew I had to go, but I was trying to hold it. <laughs> You're doing I right. was trying to hold it. You're doing great. Okay. Let's put that back here. Okay. You feel comfortable? Yes. So we're going to do what we did when we started. Mm -hmm. We're going to be using the breath to take you back down. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to count from five to one. And when I get to one, you're going to be in the same exact spot that you were before. All right? Even clearer than you were before. Five, going back down. Use your breath. Four, even deeper. Keep going down. Three, beginning to see the images. Two, and one. Be there now. Tell me where you are. I'm standing. Mm -hmm. And and the, the people um, that uh, the people he sent mm -hmm. is looking at me. Is this your father? No. Um, sends them who sends them um, my father sends them mm -hmm. to watch me mm -hmm. who are they um they're like they're very smart they're very wise wise mm -hmm. um, not um not smart wise mm -hmm. wise um um because uh they like uh they know things from that like they have secrets um they know things from the beginning of time um how many are there um, uh, um he sent the lady mm -hmm. um and and they, um, different, different, he sends different people for different things. Mm -hmm. Are these like your guides? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're like guides. Mm -hmm. Are they dressed any certain way? Um, uh, long clothes, mm -hmm. long, long clothes. Um, uh, they're uh, respectable, mm -hmm. like, you know, they're very, like, you know, like, uh, they have a certain amount of respect, mm -hmm. but they help other people too. They don't just help me. Okay. Um, they go to help other people. So let's look at the guides that are helping mm -hmm. you in the life of Shireen. Who you see? Um, the lady, mm -hmm. the long dress. Um, she's smart. Mm -hmm. She's really wise. Wise. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Uh, mm. Connect with her telepathically. You could mm. ask her. Uh, she starts with an L. Mm -hmm. like a, Um, like a, 
of Linda, but that's not it. That's mm -hmm. not it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. to... What is her purpose in your life? What does she do? Uh, she has a lot of secrets. Hmm. What are these secrets about? Uh, about about the world. Mm -hmm. um, about about uh, about um manipulating the ripples. Mm -hmm. Um the space in between. Mm-hmm. And these ripples, are they ripples in time? Um, the echoes. Mm -hmm. What, what, what um, we think of, uh, we think and do things like uh, you see one thing and then you see the next thing, mm -hmm. like a flip book. Yes. But there's something, there's a space in between. Like a gap? This, yes. Mm -hmm. And what's in this gap? Uh, the the why mm. the how mm -hmm. and she represents that and she knows how to manipulate that like not manipulate but like work like like uh change mm -hmm. <sighs> like change it or or um manufacture it mm -hmm. or bring it along move it along she's like the space in between mm -hmm. she's uh the reason why things flow like she's the like um the in between the next step before the step mm -hmm. before you take the step so how is she helping you um Trying to help me to to understand why I do what I do and how to change it. Would she be willing to give you some secrets today? Yes. Mm hmm. Would the light allow her to speak to you right now? Yes. Thank you. Take a deep breath in. And let me speak with her. Good afternoon. Hello. What is your name? Liechen. Liechen? Yes. Liechen, I hear that you have secrets about how to manipulate and use time or the gap between. Would you like to share some of that with Shireen today? What she's supposed to be doing with this? It's to help her not to make the decisions she make. Hmm. There's a uh, in between from when you think of it and when you do it. Mm -hmm. And I I represent that, mm -hmm. and when she search, when she searches for the reason why she does the things she 
do. She's really searching for me. Mm. She's made quite a few kind of unusual decisions in her life. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been there for those? Yes, all of them. Mm -hmm. So why did she choose such a challenging life? She's curious. Mm -hmm. And once you get there, she's... She doesn't understand what she understands when she's not there allows her to be confident in going forward. Mm -hmm. But when she get there, she doesn't remember what made her so confident, which is the wisdom that she has before she enters through the veil. Mm. Well, she she left where she was because she was bored. She's bored now. <laughs> what should she be doing now? She should be helping people. Mm -hmm. Always. Yes. What are her superpowers here? What is she good at? When she was younger, she was able to do the cards. She can do that now. Mm -hmm. Anyone, if you can think it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. It's, you make it, you build, you build it out of yourself. Mm -hmm. You just need the confidence to, to say, I can do it. Mm -hmm. It's it's just remembering. Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't have a very good memory. <laughs> Why is that? Because she's she likes to forget things. Hmm. She likes to forget things, and then now she forgets things without trying. <laughs> is this something that maybe? Um, a, uh, a mechanism to ease the the pain it started out that way mm -hmm. but it took on a life of it its own mm -hmm. and she's a creator and she can create things if she believes it enough yes she can create it if she wants to create pain for herself, she can just create it. Mm -hmm. Well, she's created a pain. She's created <laughs> difficult situations. She's really good at manifesting all of this. She's very good at m manifesting mm -hmm. things. Even if they're not to the greatest good. Even that and it's very strong so her not remembering how to use it how to control it 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 turns bad mm -hmm. what's causing that memory now to not come up is there a blockage there mm. Is it her own blockage, or has someone put a block there for her? She seems to drift a lot. She, she knows how to create things, but it's so strong she doesn't know how to undo it. Mm -hmm. She only knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. She makes things happen, but she doesn't know how to undo it. Is this the reason that you're with her today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you help her beginning with this session? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to download and start changing the programming that she has in her mind so that she can remember all of those secrets intuitively. Can you do that for me? Slowly. Mm -hmm. In time. All right, so she can start remembering. Okay. 
tell me when you're done there, Leach. Yes. Thank you. Are you able to answer all of her questions, or do we need to connect with her higher self today? You can connect. Thank you. Do you have any other information for her? You've been a great help already. She has to make up her mind and do one thing and follow through with it. Mm -hmm. And it, it will be done. Sounds easy, but it's not. Just do it. It's not easy? It's not easy for her. For her, okay. Would you help guide her, please? Yes. Thank you. And may I connect now with her higher self? Thank you, Legion. Let me know when you're there. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Thank you. I know that you could have shown many different lifetimes today. You showed her one of this selection of parents and the baby. What lifetime was that? Is that this one or an alternate one? Another time. Mm -hmm. Another time, it was the beginning of it all mm -hmm. with the indecisions, the people feeling and not saying and doing something else. Mm -hmm. How did that affect her? She gravitates to it. It was the first thing that drew her attention. Mm -hmm. But but now it's it's not just being curious. It's all over her life. Mm -hmm. It seems to be consuming her. It's yes, mm -hmm. yes. She certainly didn't have that type of life when she was with with her father in the other plane. No. Mm -hmm. But she knew she can get away with what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because sometimes he helps her when he's not supposed to. I see. Does she connect with him through meditation? Or through her dreams? He's always with her. Mm -hmm. Always with her. It's, she... She... She connects sometimes and then she doesn't. Mm -hmm. then she, she does, then she doesn't, and she, she lose connection, she lose her connection with him and, and she get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Has he ever incarnated with her? No. Mm -hmm. He doesn't come here. Was she looking for the same love that she has for her father in her uh, father now? In all the men. In all the men. She's not getting it, is she? No. Mm -hmm. And even in her mother. Mm -hmm. Tell her about that. She has to open her eyes 
and understand that her father's love is her love and that means she is love because she is love when she leaves her father to the unknown she will always want to reconnect by connecting with beings that aren't receptive. Mm. She had too much of one thing and not enough in this life. Mm. She was foolish. Why does the mother figure not show up in her life? Why only a father figure? His image is... It's just an image. Mm -hmm. He is a mother. He's a father. Okay. She just looks at him as a father. Yes. Okay. But it is a mother-father. Yes. Okay. She came from him. Mm -hmm. She sees him. Mm -hmm. She's a part of him, a small part of him. Who is this man in the spiritual realm? Someone that, that's ahead. Mm -hmm. One. Mm. Uh. Uh. Authority. Mm -hmm. very refined um, uh, uh, leader. Mm -hmm. Does she have the powers that he has? Small, mm -hmm. like the others. Yes. Uh, that he sends. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he didn't send her. She went. She went. She left. Yes. Mm -hmm. How does he feel about that? She's him. <laughs> the part of him that he doesn't have right now. Mm -hmm. How often does she do this? <sighs> that one time she never came back mm. she just goes from one to the next mm -hmm. and then back again she never came back does she always choose the earth or does she choose other places the earth mm -hmm. the, the echoes mm -hmm. Are they different here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is uh, the what ifs? Mm -hmm. uh, um, they all exist. It's just a vibration, and they're tuned differently. Mm -hmm. So the reaction is differently. The outcome is differently by the vibrations. They're just tuned differently. So. Yeah. So when, when um, you could actually pick any different type of experience on Earth by the echoes, by the vibration? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And 
कर यू कैन मूव थ्रू दम इफ यू आर एट द राइट फ्रीक्वेंसी बट यू हैव टू रेजोनेट इज शी रेजोनेटिंग नाउ um in this mm-hmm. in this one in this one is that a tough life mm, it's an experience mm-hmm. she's wanted it she asked for it <laughs> is she asking for change now yes mm-hmm. can that be accomplished yes who helps her with that The angel. The angel. Mm-hmm. They are the angels. Are there any that are working with her right now? Oh, uh, Michael. Very good. Thank you, Michael. Oh. Is he the one that brought her here? Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. She had questions about her dreams. She said she when she was younger, she used to astral travel all the time. But she felt that she was being chased. She was breathing under water. All sorts of things. Why was she be able, why was she able to dream so much then and not now? Because now it's different. She she forget that it's not real. Mm. She forget that is It's possible to do anything. Mm-hmm. So she does. She do not vibrate on that level. Okay. She's dumb herself down. Hmm. So beginning today, can we start working on her? Yes. To get her frequency up. Yes. <laughs> get her manifesting things positively. Yes. What is she supposed to be doing spiritually? Healing. Healing. In what type of profession? Souls. Mm-hmm. Healing the souls. Yes. Mm-hmm. This religion that she's been involved with for a while is that beneficial to her? It deals with the dark and the light. So she's wondering if this is something that she should be initiated in, or is this just another experience? It's just another experience. What would you, as her higher self, recommend for the greatest benefit of her and others? To put her efforts. That she put in everything else into her. To focus. Would this religion help? Mm, some things. Mm-hmm. Not all. Has this anything in this religion hurt her? Held her back? Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about that? She's curious, and her imagination is stronger than her ability to. Resist. Mm-hmm. And be careful what you wish for. Mm-hmm. She's curious, so she 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 goes towards it and it turns against her. Mm-hmm. Because it's it's her it's her will. Mm-hmm. It's her will. She manifests it. 
she she's curious and she goes and they they know when she when she comes they know mm -hmm. they know and and turn it against her hmm. is that what's happening right now yes what's it's causing that right now do we have any influence that's that's uh, hurting her right now uh, yes mm -hmm. where where is this my stomach mm -hmm. would you allow me to speak to this influence yes thank you i'd like before i contact this this form here i'd like to ask archangel michael to bring in the angels of the light to surround this being encapsulated squeeze down on it so we can talk fill it with light and now i'm going to bring my hand over her stomach and bring the energy up 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 good afternoon How long have you been there, Mushereen? For a while. For a while. Did you come on your own or did somebody send you? How did you get there in your stomach? I don't want to tell you. All right, well, in order for us to have a conversation, both of us have to speak. So I'm going to ask the angels to squeeze down on you even harder so that we can get you to talk. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Have you ever had a body before? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you? Mm hmm. Sixteen. What year is it? Sixties. Six years? Sixties. Sixties, okay. And how is it that you you found Shireen? The cemetery? The cemetery. Was she hanging out in the cemetery? Or were you? Both of us. Mm. What was she doing in the cemetery? Asking for help. Ah, okay. So she asked for you. What kind of help was she looking for? Just to stop. Stop people mm -hmm. from hurting. From hurting her? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, what is it that you did in your lifetime from the 60s that gave you 
net skill set. Clothes is dirty. Excuse me? My clothes are dirty. Your clothes are dirty? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you homeless? I look like it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. How did you die? Um, on the street. On the street. How old are you there when you die? Forty. Forty? Forty. Forty. Three. Forty three. What happens to you? I don't take care of myself. You don't take care of yourself? Yes. Um, I am. I carry a knife. Mm hmm. Why do you carry a knife? To hurt people. To hurt people? Mm hmm. Why do you hurt them? Mm. So I could survive? And that doesn't make any sense. This is not a jungle. You're not in the jungle. You're in the cemetery, aren't you? Where did you live? Street. On the street. Mm. So you weren't. I stole. Pistol? I stole. You stole. Mm. So they were after you because you stole things. So. <clears throat> what did they call you in that place? What was your given name? Robert. Robert. So Robert, it seems to me that you were just a Surviving, stealing, hurting people. Yes. So what made you the authority to help this young girl? I can stop them. Mm, I see. With your knife? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel when you stop them? Mm. Strong. Mm -hmm. And how does it make Shireen feel, having you there in her stomach? Bad. Mm-hmm. What is she feeling? What symptoms? I move around. Mm. Where do you move? I just move around. In her body? To get her attention. Mm-hmm. Do you give her symptoms? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of symptoms are you giving her now? Pain. Pain. Where is it? Um, right there. Um, wait, where is that? In her stomach, by her mm -hmm. ribs, close to her ribs. Mm -hmm. And I just move around. Did you ever give her any pain in her eye? No. Any pain in her private parts? No. In her knees? No. Do you have anything to do with her chest right now? No. Okay, so you just gave her those pains in her stomach? Yes, and I tell her to hurt people. You tell her to hurt people? In what way do you tell her to hurt people? I tell her to stab them. With what? With a knife. Mm-hmm. And does she do it? No. And how does that make you feel? Angry. Mm -hmm. Do you ever send people to her? Yes. To make her angry? Yes. Mm -hmm. When she's working? All the time. Mm -hmm. That's not very nice, Robert, is it? She doesn't listen. Mm -hmm. Robert, why is it that when you transitioned out of your body, you didn't go to the, back to the light? To the source, to your home. I'm 
because I hurt people. Mm. Are you feeling guilty? <sighs> I can't hurt people if I leave. Mm. Does hurting people make you feel good? Strong. Strong. Robert, strength comes in different ways. By hurting people, you're never making yourself strong. Because whatever you do to others, you do to yourself. That's why you never feel ultimately strong. It just makes you angry. I'm going to ask the angels to squeeze down on you with their love. To feel what real love feels like. Inside of you, Robert, is a spark of light. Same as the angels. I want you to find that spark. And see how it feels. And tell me how you're feeling as the angels are projecting their love onto you. Warm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and keep focusing on that light inside of you, Robert. Expand it until it takes over all of your essence. And tell me how that feels. light. Mm -hmm. Does it feel good, Robert? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The spark of light is the spark of the Creator, where we all came from. We are all love. We are all the same. Once you feel that love, you understand what going back home is all about. Are you ready to go back home? Yeah. Feel that? Before you do, though, I'd like for you to go inside of her body and pull all of your influence from inside. And Shireen, I want you to go inside of your body and start cutting all of the ties that you have to Robert. Pull all of it out. Tell me what it looks like inside. Black. Black. Like oil. Mm-hmm. So I want you to use a tool and start retrieving all of that, sucking it all up. What would you like to use? You could use a vacuum cleaner. You could use a hose. What would you like to use? Hands. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's use those hands. Remove all of that. And Robert, take that from her. Remove it as she takes it from inside you. You take it with you. And tell me when it's all out of her body. I don't want to leave any drop of that. Tell me when you're done. Yes. Very good. So now I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to assist with this. Have her, <clears throat> have Robert go up through the top of her head. And Robert, can you forgive yourself for doing all of this wrong? doing throughout your life and afterwards? Yes. Mm -hmm. and take a deep breath, Shireen. Can you forgive him? Take a deep breath in. Allow Robert to leave. Thank you very much. Let me speak with the higher self again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for allowing that. How does she look now? Right. Mm -hmm. He was holding her back quite a bit, wasn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was very bad. 
Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else there that we need to attend to today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me where that that brother is right now. Chest in the head. In the chest in the head. Which one would you like me to deal with first? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to ask the angels again to encapsulate <coughs> this soul. It's from when her father punched her. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's bring that up. Let's bring it up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female energy? Mm, male. Male. How long have you been there with her? A long time. A long time. How did you find her? At a week time. At a week time. How old was she? Maybe 13. Mm -hmm. What may I call you? Dirt. Dirt? That's your name? They call me Dirt. They call you Dirt. How old are you, Dirt? Old. Old. How old? Mm. <clears throat> I belong to her father. I see. <clears throat> did he create you? <clears throat> or did he call you? <clears throat> He found me. He found you? Yeah. In what way? How did he find you? It's in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Wrong time. And you attached to her father? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so how did you go from her father to you? How did you transport yourself into Shireen? When he got angry. Oh. And she was weak. Mm-hmm. So I found a new home. Ah, okay. You didn't like hanging out with Mickey anymore? Mm, wasn't fun anymore. I see. It's too old. So you wanted somebody young? Yes. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? <sighs> to stay around longer. What do you do? Dirt? Mm. <sighs> the things she can't do. Like what? Mm -hmm. Control people. Mm -hmm. Do you control people? Control her and mm -hmm. other people. How do you control the other people? I tell them to do things. Like what? She knows. Mm. She sees me. How does she see you? I look the same in her dad, in them. Mm -hmm. She knows. And what happens when she sees you? She gets scared. Mm -hmm. She tries to run, but she can't run. So I'm always with her. I'm not with them. I'm with her. Mm -hmm. And what have you done to her life? Mm. Bad things. Bad things? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Fine. Mm -hmm. Now, Dirt, it seems to me every time I run across people like you, mm -hmm. that in order for you to be the way you are, you must have suffered quite a bit. Mm -hmm. What was your story? Why are you so angry and want to control people? What did they do to you?
<sighs> Go back in time. Who hurt you, Dirk? People are bad. Mm -hmm. People what did are they bad. do to you? What did they do to you? What did they do to you? They were bad to me. What did they do? Tell me. Did they hurt you? They try. Mm -hmm. They try and they judge me. For what? Mm -hmm. Think I'm not good enough. Mm. So I hurt them. How did you hurt them? I physically hurt them because mm -hmm. they hurt me. But you kept on hurting, didn't you? Mm. It didn't help you. That pain is deep within your soul. No matter what you did physically, it still hurts, doesn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to release that? That pain, dirt? But I like having time. You always have time. There is no such thing as no time. Life is eternal. But her daughter is young. Mm -hmm. So what are you planning to do with her daughter? I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. Move on. Well, moving on to another body is really silly. Ooh. Dirt. Every soul, the natural progression is not to go from one body to another as a parasite, which is what you're doing. You're simply being a parasite. It's not your body. It's not your life. You don't have total free will. You only do that when you have your own body. The only way for a soul to evolve is to go back home. That's the evolution of a soul. You'll be able to go to school, you'll be able to learn, and you can come back in your own body, in a very young body. Your angels are holding me down. Mm -hmm. What are they telling you? Not to get up. Mm -hmm. To stay down. They want, me to, they want you to listen to me, to what I'm telling you. Do you understand that the natural progression of a soul is to go back to the light? Not to go jumping from one body to another like a parasite. You are not a parasite, Dirt. You are a soul, free to go back to the light, back to where you came from. Dirt, look inside of you. There's a spark of light there. That's the light that created you. You are part of the Creator. You are a soul created by the light. Look at that light and watch it expand, filling all of your essence. As it expands, you will feel yourself in the same vibration as the angels. Allow yourself to feel that vibration change, understanding who you really are. Who are you, Dirt? I'm James. James. Mm-hmm. I have a family, mm -hmm. a wife. And a kid. I beat them. You beat them? You killed them? I just beat them. You just beat them. Can you forgive yourself, James, for all of that that you did? All of that pain that you caused? Can you forgive yourself? 
not knowing any better. Yeah. Allow that pain to be absorbed by that light. Would you like Shireen to forgive you for all of the pain that you've caused her? Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Shireen. What would you like to tell James today? Would you like to send him to the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Forgive. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, James. How does that feel to be forgiven by Shireen? Good. Very good. Have you caused her any physical symptoms, James? Yes. Tell her what symptoms you've caused. The pains. Mm hmm. Do you have anything to do with that mass in her chest? Mm hmm. So I want you to start absorbing all of that that you have created. Start pulling everything out of her body that's been caused by you. All of the irritants, all of the inflammation, all of the discomfort. Start pulling it out. And I'm going to ask the angels to retrieve all of that. Pull it out. And ask the angels if they're ready to take you now, James, to see your family. Very good. Thank you. I'd like Archangel Michael to assist you. Go up through the crown of her head and go into the light, James, and tell me when you get there. Is there anybody there to greet you? Mm-hmm. Had Mm-hmm. Have they forgiven you? Mm-hmm. Give him a big hug. May the light of the universe always accompany you, James. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'd like the angels to please now fill her with light. Fill her with light. Everywhere where Robert was and where James was. And I'd like to pull down that energy from her head, encapsulating that energy and bring it down. Good afternoon. Are you male or female energy? Female. Female. What may I call you? <clears throat> Ruth. Ruth. How long have you been there, Ruth? Years. Years. How old was she when you found when she found you or you found her? Mm. Mm. Was she a little girl or was she older? Walter. Mm -hmm. What was happening? Mm -hmm. What was happening, Ruth? She, she was worried about her daughter. Mm -hmm. Did she call for you? No. Mm -hmm. So how did you find her then? What gave you the authority? She picked me up. And how? When she went to get her daughter. Mm -hmm. Where were you? With the family. Is that why her daughter was so upset? Were you there? Were you causing all of the Havoc at her house? 
with the grandmother with the and the sister mm-hmm. and uh, all the women. Mm-hmm. Ruth, what are you doing in their family? Did someone send you there? Yes. Who sent you there? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Someone. Someone. In the family. Somebody in the family sent you? Mm-hmm. So you're just uh, like a messenger. Mm. Or are you their slave? They told me what to do. Oh, so you are a slave. Mm. She was pretty. Mm-hmm. The grandmother. Mm-hmm. And I took her beauty away. Ah, oh, I see. I see. And are you beautiful now? <laughs> hmm. You don't even have a body, Ruth. Hmm. Men thought she was pretty. Mm-hmm. And I made her sad. Uh-huh. My husband didn't love her anymore. Oh, I see. And what else did you do in that family? Mm, I made them all sad. Mm-hmm. Is that because you're sad, Ruth? Mm, I'm just doing what I was told to do. Oh, I see. So you're just following orders. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel, Ruth? Mm. Are you happy? I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I would think so. Mm. <clears throat> You've been working a long time. Mm-hmm. Are you doing anything now? Mm-hmm. In Shireen's life? Yes. What are you doing for her or against her? Mm-hmm. I help her to forget mm. sometimes. Mm. What else? Mm. I make her sad so that I can make her old. Mm-hmm. You're not doing a very good job, though. She looks very beautiful to me. In time. What else? I blur her vision sometimes. Mm-hmm. And why is that? Mm. <clears throat> you think she needs glasses? Mm. Why would you blur her vision? To make her sad. Oh, I see. Does it's, it work? Um, yes. Mm-hmm. What else do you do? Mm, I, I did it to her mom, too. Mm. Mm-hmm. So it runs the family. Yeah. Do you give her any sharp pains? Yeah, I poke her in the eye. Mm-hmm. Where else do you poke her? In the vagina. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because it's... <sighs> part of the woman. Mm. And... It's attached to sexuality. And I want to take that all away. I see. <clears throat> Ruth, how is it that you got tangled up in being somebody else's slave? Hmm. They knew how to call me. And where were you when they called you? The darkness. Ah, okay. So when you passed over, you didn't go to the light. No. 
Why didn't you go to the light? Did you feel bad? What happened? Did you feel guilty? Unworthy? I couldn't go. So you just stayed in the light, in the dark? Yes. Mm -hmm. She paid me. How did she pay you? What do they pay you with? Mm. With blood. With blood? Mm hmm. And what do you use the blood for? You don't have a body. Makes me strong. Ah, I see. Ruth, I think there's something else that can make you stronger. What? Going to the light. Hmm. That's where you came from. That's where you have all powers. But I can't. Why is that? I did too many things. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. I'm going to call in the angels. Have them surround you. And tell me when they're there. Want them to hold you down. Tell me what they're telling you. Just need to let go. Mm hmm. What else are they telling you? To receive the light. Mm hmm. Are you ready to receive the light? This is a free will planet. Whether you have a body or not, there is free will. Are you ready to receive this light? Tell me what you're feeling, Ruth. forgiven but I don't think I'll be forgiven take a deep breath in Shireen can you forgive Ruth for all that she's done she needs to be filled with light can you understand that this is something that she was sent to do can you forgive her for that yes mm -hmm. tell her what you would like to happen now I want her to go Go with them. Mm hmm Okay, take a deep breath in. Ruth, do you hear that? Mm hmm Can you accept that forgiveness from her? Yes. Can you forgive yourself for everything you've done? Yes. Mm hmm Inside of you, Ruth, is that spark of light. This is your origin. You came from the light. We all came from the light. I want you to find that light and expand it. Fill your essence with it. And tell me what you feel. Brighter. Brighter. How does it make you feel, Ruth? Brighter, happier. Mm hmm. You don't need to be angry or sad anymore. Mm hmm. I want you to pull all of the influence that you have in her body. Pull it all out. Everywhere in her body where you are attached. And Shireen, I want you to go inside there and cut all of the ties that you have from the inside. You can use any tool you want. I want the angels to retrieve all of that influence from inside. Ruth, tell me when you are completely detached from Shireen. Are you ready to go now? All right, I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to assist you. Have the angels lift you up into the light and tell me, Ruth, what you see. I 
Ay, sí. Angels. Souls. Mm-hmm. Now, Ruth, there is a contract that you made with blood tied to this family. I want you to destroy that contract. Give it to Archangel Michael. Sever it. May the light of the universe accompany you, Ruth. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I'd like the angels to fill her body with light. Seal her up. Every space where Ruth was. Fill it all in. And I'd like to speak with a higher self and ask if there's any other entities attached or in this room that are ready to take their place. Look around and see if there's any other entities that are ready to take her pl their place, that are ready to attach to anyone in any object. In this space or her space? Mm. What do you see? The crab. Mm -hmm. Where's the crab? In the knee. All right. What's your knee? The right knee. All right. I'm going to bring that up. Bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. Good afternoon, Crab. Yes. How long have you been there with her? Not long. Mm hmm What caused you to attach to her? She was crying. Mm hmm So she was crying, so you had decided to attach to her? She wasn't happy. Okay. So what was the reason why you attached to her? Were you not happy? I wasn't happy. Mm hmm Crab, what's your story? Why weren't you happy? Just roam around. You just roam around? From place to place? Mm hmm Have you ever had a life before, Crab? Yes. Mm hmm What were you before? A person. Mm hmm Did you have a name? If you were a person, you must have had a name. What do you look like? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. How old are you? The 30s. Mm -hmm. Late 30s. Late 30s. What year is it for you? Mm. During the war. Mm -hmm. Which war? There's been many wars. What war were you in? What country was it? I'm in war clothes you wore, and hat. You wore war clothes and a hat? Yeah. You're a soldier? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you get killed? My arm. Your arm? Yeah. It was severed? Mm. Or were you shot? Severed. Severed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that why you chose a crab? So you'd have many arms? <sighs> yeah. Be small. Mm -hmm. Can't be noticed. 
Mm. What do they call you in that life? Craig. Craig. Craig, I'd like for you to go back to that body that's been severed. Go back in time and tell me what it looks like. Mm. I'm hurt. Mm hmm. I was hiding. Mm -hmm. Where were you hiding? Um, I was hiding. I was down. Mm -hmm. a, like a hiding behind like, like bags and trees and like. Uh, and like um, a ditch, like mm-hmm. What happened? Um, they saw me. They saw me. They saw me and um, took my arm. How did they take it? Stepped on it and held me down. Mm hmm. Cut it. They cut it off? Yes. Okay. With the front of the. With the front of the sword, the. Mm hmm. The bayonet? Yeah. Mm hmm. So, Craig, I'd like for you now to retrieve that severed part. Retrieve that severed part and put it back together. Put it back. How does that feel? It seems to me, Craig, you couldn't move on without that piece. Do you feel whole now? You don't need to be a crab anymore, do you? Are you ready to move on? All right, do you forgive yourself for hanging on all this time? All right, allow all of that feeling to go. Would you like me to help you release some of that pain? All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Craig. Give me all of that pain that you've been feeling all of this time for being severed, for being in a place and being, having your life end in such a terrible way. Give me all of that pain and tell me when I have it all. Let me release it and send it to the universe. Craig, what would you like to put instead in that space? What would make you feel wonderful? Self-worth. Let's put lots of self-worth in there. Feel it seeping in. Allow all of that self-worth. Fill every cell of your being with it. And let's seal that. What else would you like to put in there? Patience. Patience. Let's put lots of patience in there. Very good. What else? Acceptance. Mm -hmm. Acceptance. Acceptance is yourself and others. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are you ready to be filled with love now? Let's fill you with love. Let's put a lot, a lot of love in there. Fill it up. All that light. All that love. Every single cell of your being. Fill it. Very good. How do you feel now, Craig? Pull all of that essence out from inside of this body. And I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to accompany you. Go ahead out through the crown of her head. May the light of the universe accompany you, Craig. Thank you. And thank you. Let me speak with the higher self again. How does her body look now? Are we good? Good to go? All right. Yeah. I'd like the archangels 
to help with this, my entire team. Fill her with light from the from her toes all the way up to her head. Fill her with all that light. Seal her aura. Align her chakras. And I'd like them to clear out this room. Any entities that are left waiting to pounce on her, pounce on me, pounce on my cat, anybody who's in here, I'd like to, to encapsulate them and take them directly to the light. How do we look now? Good to go? Yes. All right. So I'd like to ask on her behalf to open her up for the guidance that she knows that she has now. All of those guides that have been helping her, that her father has sent to her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you have anything else that you would like to tell her that we haven't asked here today? She, she will have the help that she needs. If she just make up her mind mm -hmm. and do what her heart tells her to do, and follow that, mm -hmm. and not do it for money or other things. Do it because it fulfills her, mm -hmm. and we'll give it to her. Wonderful, wonderful. And um, can I ask also on her behalf to protect her daughter from all of these things? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you would like to tell her or me at this time? She's come a long way. We sent her. We sent her. You sent her. We all sent her. Mm -hmm. Has she gotten what she needed from this session today? Yes. Wonderful. Yes. yes. So, if you would continue connecting with her in her sleep. Yes. Giving yes. her the download she needs, connecting her with her father. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Welcome back. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, wow. It was like everything just connected, mm -hmm. you know, with one another. Yes. And it's like you don't think about it, mm -hmm. you know, until all the pieces are together. Right. It's just like a puzzle. <sighs> How long do you feel you were on this journey? Um, an hour? Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty crazy. Huh? Wow. Did it make Two a total, hours. total sense? Yeah. Like, it's just like once you, once you hear it, mm -hmm. it's like, duh, you know? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, uh, I didn't think of that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It does make, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. One of them that came through, it was the first one, Robert. Um, I don't know which one was the first one here. Um, he got he he uh, got a little crazy. He mm. threw my recorder right off the bed. <laughs> oh right off the bed, flying off the zone. And, off. and uh, in fact. My battery. I oh my battery. god. She was not real happy with me. <laughs> I, I felt like, like, like he wanted to get up. Yeah. You know, like he wanted to get up. Yeah. Like, oh god. It was, it went flying. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> so, you remember this? Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 It, wow. Yeah. So now your whole life makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. When like when they say I'm spoiled. <laughs> yeah. It, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So you just, and you said you were bored, and it's the same thing. Yeah. Huh. Wow. So you recommend this to others? Yes. What do you think about this experience? Do you think this is something that others would 
learn yeah. from that you want to share? Absolutely. I, I think that um, it's important. It's important to put all the pieces together. You know, mm -hmm. if you have questions and it, to know that it's inside of you, yeah. you know, you, you can you can get answers. Mm -hmm. You could see you were very powerful. You came from this very wise place, <laughs> very wise man. Uh, like you, what happened? <laughs> and what I, happened? I love the I love the the ripples, the echoes yeah. of time. Yeah. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I saw it like how the water mm -hmm. rippled, like the outer rings mm -hmm. were. Yeah, and you had told me something very interesting during your your interview with me mm -hmm. that you were able to move water that something happened that you did something with water mm -hmm. um you wanted to know what the significance was of the water when we were talking mm. you don't remember that but now but uh it, it seems like water really had something to do with it and it, it seems to be that that vibration stuff oh does it make sense now yeah and and i am attracted to the water mm -hmm. um but you said something about there was something about water yeah you moved, you moved it oh yeah <laughs> right yes so in my hand that. i touch i touch a glass and the glass would move with mm -hmm. my hand it would just not my hand moving mm -hmm. and um it's always like water related yeah and uh with the stick moving in my hand and and it's like you know it's a part of a living thing yep and we all have water so so you know now how powerful you truly are mm, you just haven't been using it for the right reason <laughs> getting in trouble <laughs> <laughs> so what i would recommend since since you you've been uh working with this is uh, I do have that sealing light meditation on YouTube yeah. about definitely before you even leave the house to seal yourself with that white light before you go out. Yes. Uh, keep that vibration high because you, ha you had you had quite a few of them coming towards you. Oh. Did you seem? Did they seem like there were any others in the room waiting to take their place? No, no, it okay. just felt like they. It, it just felt like they didn't want to go. Yeah, <laughs> like they were, but you we know, found out sassy. why, and I felt bad for the crab yeah. who, who had been shot. You know, yeah. he had been shot. So good, you feel good about this then. And, yeah. and what about the purging? Uh, oh yeah. What about when that? when you were saying for it to come up, and you were like you know i don't remember if you were saying like if it was ready to go it was like it was stuck in my throat Isn't that something? it was like it was stuck in, it felt like it was physically stuck in my throat so you had to get it out yeah good thing i had the pan <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is great well, all right so let's goodness. let's uh wow. say goodbye so we yeah. can we can talk a little bit more we to pixelate you all right <laughs> All right, so we'll leave some space here so that you're pixelated. So you came here from where? Oh, two hours away. Two I'm hours flight. away. Yeah. So where are you from? Texas. 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 All right, so what was the reason why you came here today? Uh, I needed answers. Mm -hmm. Answers that I couldn't get. I couldn't get it anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it seems so difficult but once you start talking, it's like, you it's all great. there. You did great. My God. I mean, you were, when, when you started going into that place with the pillars and, right? Yeah. And then you had to use the bathroom and you were like right there. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> but it was but good. It, it, it was good. It, it just fit together. Mm -hmm. Once you start talking, just let it go. Yeah. Just let it go. And it, after you're done, you realize it all makes sense. It all makes sense. The, the, the most important thing is, is to really have the patience to put all the puzzle pieces together to see how it fits. And as you were taught, I didn't even go through all your questions because <laughs> they, were, they were just coming out. It's like, oh, now I understand why that pain, and now I understand why that pain. I didn't even have to ask about it because everything was just coming out. It was really, it was really cool. 
So what would you like to say to our viewers about this experience, about how what you think, what you got out of it? It's very freeing. It's very it's very freeing and honest. It's it's you it's like if you try to hide, you won't get anything out of it. Right. You have to be open, yes. open to release everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you feel better. Feel great. You don't judge yourself. You don't judge others, and then you feel free. Yeah, you just feel free. So I think that when you came here, you had a little concern about being in hypnosis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Am I going to be hypnotized? Yeah. It's always, always the first question, or and always like, the, the burning question. I'm like, my imagination be... is not that great. So right. how are you going to do that? <laughs> But and then you're like, just go with the flow. Don't imagine. Just go. Just let go. And I, and it was it, perfect. It was perfect. It was it was just so freeing. It felt good. Yeah. It felt really good to get answers and explanation and, and to understand that everything is just it's just one. It's it's mm -hmm. there's there's just honesty and love and freeing. It's it's not judging. It's not anything else it just, just is it just is <laughs> it just is so it is and we're all one and I, I, what i feel from these sessions is and people watching it is that they're getting answers too mm -hmm. i think you were getting some answers from it too because we're all one we all have these experiences and what you see somebody else experiencing you've had it too maybe mm -hmm. not everybody but there was something <laughs> about it all right so <laughs> Oh my God! So if you want a session with me, <laughs> like this one here had, uh, you can go to my website albawyman.com, and I do travel around the country. You'd have to go to my website to the out of town tab. You can sign up to my mailing list to see where I'm going to next. So thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much thank for you, sharing. Emma. All right, bye. bye. I get my hug now. Ooh. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Excellent.